Canada. And um, well done. It looks like a pretty good game so far. I think it is a really good game. I hope you all folks at home and in the cafetorium are enjoying it tonight. Uh, what do you think about uh, some of the performers? I'll tell you what you think. All right, we got we got some people out here. We're just, they're just killing it. You know, we got some of the junior kids from the minors. We got some good young uh, Canadian kids. Uh, who else do we got tonight? How about we talk about that Andrew Portelli? You know, he's really done a good Andrew job. Portelli's been doing an excellent job tonight. Uh, you know, not only does the kid exceed on the uh, stage, he also exceeds off the stage. Very bright kid. There have been some disappointments, but I think the other players have... And you know what? One disappointment is uh, Daniela Barbieri. You know, uh, she's, uh, she's been a veteran presence, I think, but the fact is, she's really got to step it up in this third period. And perhaps over time, uh, right now it looks like it's going to be a very uh, right down to the wire game, if you know what I mean. I know what you mean, Don. Well, uh, you want to see. Yeah, let's get to some clips. You know, let's get to some. Let's get to Steffi. Uh, she's a penist. Uh, let's get to her playing some uh, clips. Go ahead. You know what, back is Raquel Casasanta son. You know what, good Canadian girl, good old fashioned Canadian girl. She plays what? The, the clarinet? Yeah, the the clarinet? clarinet? That's what it is, right? That's it's the clarinet. clarinet. Yeah. All right, the clarinet. Uh, what is she doing right now? She's playing the clarinet. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, let's stop that there. Let's stop that right there. You see, she hit the wrong button. First of all, you know she has the wrong stance completely. Look at her face, she looks absolutely clueless in this one, you know? I, I don't really understand what's wrong with her. Maybe she'll fix it up. That's another thing to watch on Music Night, to see the performance of Raquel Casasantas. Will she regain her rookie form? Uh, we only got to see. All right. Fine job, I think, and uh, she's going to do great for the rest of the performance. Now, I know you want to talk a little bit about the, the new refereeing and the new rules in this season. Yeah, well, uh, the new rules has been in effect for, what, a good uh, three or four years now? You know, I'm just really upset with the refereeing. There's been a lot of uncalled hooking calls. Completely changed the games over the season. And uh, you know what? Let's just get to the clip. Okay, Kevin, it's your turn for your test. Come on in. Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, all right. Let's stop this right here. You see the thing wrong with that? That's a hooking penalty, plain and simple. It's four years after the lockout, and we still got this garbage going on here. Where's the new rules, huh? I'm telling you, I think it's the refs. I think it's all their fault. And just because of that, we got a guy on the ice who can seriously be hurt. Look at his trombone. That's just poor. That's, that's just sad. And then Andre, of course, uh, reaping the benefits. That's two minutes, if you ask me. Well, uh, the refing can be shaky at times, but I think they're doing an overall good job. And next, we got Andrew Portelli, the star performer. Very clutch player. Very, very clutch. You know what? I like the guy, the way this guy's been playing. You know, uh, you know, he's been in high demand for all schools. Uh, fortunately, St. Joan of Arc has been able to keep him up there. Uh, had a stint with Brazzani earlier on in his career. Uh, we got him in a trade for a couple of draft picks. And you know what? I think this guy's very solid. Yeah, we're running out. Yeah, I'll tell you when we're out of time. All right, go to the clip. <laughs> Alright, let's stop it right there. You see, Andrew Portelli is one of the star players on this uh, St. Joan of Arc team. And you know what? When you, when you got a star player like that, you want to you know, give him the freedom and everything to do what he needs to do. Over here, he's experimenting with a new type of practice and technique. It's called holistic practicing. And you know what? I guess it's working for him. Let's keep watching. Well, that's all we have for clips. Don, you only have about 10 seconds. Yeah, yeah, I'll tell you when 10 seconds is up, all right? You listen, Canada, I want to talk to you about one good Canadian kid by the name of David Ussie. 
He's an up and comer from the miners. He's been up and down here and there and everywhere. And you know what? The fact is, you gotta watch out for this kid. You have a good night, Canada. Take it easy.